uh, kidney failure, we are going to answer this question. How do you know that one has renal failure? Renal failure is the same as kidney failure, sign and symptoms, investigations. So everything is around this important organ. Once this organ is failing, we are going to see different symptoms and signs. There will be fatigue, general lethargy, that's a, it's a weakness, shortness of breath, progressive weakness. There is a possible thirsty anorexia, you don't feel heavy appetite, weight loss, diarrhea, and possible vomiting. Now, when you check in the history before this renal failure comes into place, you might find that there was a recent or congenital hydronephrosis where we have a lot of water around the kidney. It's a urine that is not eliminated due to malformation or due to other um, tumors maybe or other causes that will lead to hydronephrosis. It can be trauma, whether blunt trauma or any other traumatic, traumatic uh, injury that might go and damage the kidneys hmm? or just fractures of the bones. It might be nephritis, an infection, infection coming and destroy the glomeruli, uh, the, the, the part of the kidney which was previously normal, then you find it getting infected. Infection is here, is busy damaging the, the, these important structures, then it causes severe inflammation. Nephritis, also called the acute glomerulonephritis. Urinary retention might be caused by different causes um, might be tumor like uh, cancer in male and female once it comes and then blocks the bladder then the urine will be returning back this is a normal flow normally but if there is uh, any obstacle like in a male you can have a stricture secondary to prostate enlargement prostate adenoma or prostate cancer there are many causes or it can be neurologic, as we said, uh, as we saw in the previous presentation. It can be renal cysts, eh? the abnormal uh, kidney with a lot of cysts, then this kidney is not functional. It can lead to renal failure. Nephrotic syndrome, where the patient will be losing proteins in a massive way. The loss of proteins will lead to edema which will be generalized because the protein normally they they bring back the water in the vessels inside the bloodstream once there are no protein in the blood the water will leak out then to be uh, under the skin as we see puffy face mm, periobita edema you can see what we call pitting edema these are the signs and, uh, and the symptoms so in acute renal failure if it's acute now, you might find the patient with edema, nausea, origiria, that's a very scanty urine, anorexia, the lack of appetite, vomiting, or poor skin toggle. You can see the skin can be dehydrated. And uh, when you check now for chronic kidney disease, the patient might have anuria. Anuria, it means absence of urine. The kidneys have shut down completely. Anemia. In shortage of blood, predators, itching of the skin, lethargy, severe weakness, anorexia, you don't have appetite, headache, disorientation, the toxin is now increasing in the body, then it affects the brain as well, then the patient might be disoriented. Muscle cramps or twitching. Now when you do more investigations, you check in the urine, normally important uh, nutrients, particles that are very useful for the body which are not supposed to be passing they will support they will start now passing through this filter you see this is the same this is just an example the filter normally does not allow big particles to pass through only small ones in the context of the kidney the small particles will pass out with the water with the urine then they will be eliminated but here now if this filter is damaged, the blood, white blood cells which are soldiers of the body, um, the sugar and other proteins will be passing through, which is abnormal. 
So that is a very bad once you start losing the very important uh, nutrients in the body then it will cause serious uh, consequence. More investigations as you take a blood test you can investigate uh, what chemicals are in the blood is the patient being able to eliminate creatinine and urea you can also check the electrolyte in the blood you can do ultrasound ultrasound is very important then you can also do other advanced one like mri or ct scan endoscopy or renal angiography where you can now follow through the vessel until the kidney then you can do also what venogram, venogram and then you can do biopsy to go and you take a tissue on the kidney and go and investigate what might be the cause of this renal failure then not only that you can during your examination take a blood you can examine hormones like renin an important hormone that helps a lot on increasing blood pressure especially when you have hypotension when the blood pressure is too low renin will help in recovering of the blood pressure erythropoietin erythropoietin is an important hormone which helps a lot in the formation of blood so if the kidney is dying then the kidney will no longer be able to produce this erythropoietin then the consequence will be anemia a very severe anemia because the blood is not being formed so we have seen in short these sign and symptoms and the underlying causes the next topic we are going to see the complication and the management how do we treat renal failure how do we prevent it?